hi and welcome to a CDH TV combo explained for CC utilizing La Save and Lurus, a graveyard loop that is kind of strange but also kind of cool, but also requires that we take a lot of a lot of rules. So the total total package of cards we need for this is La Save Multifurious, Phantasmal Image, Lurus Dream Den, and Dockside Extortionist. And by the way, these three cards, all but La Save, needs to be in the grave. So first thing first, we're gonna pay 3 mana to make La Save into a Lurus. This means that La Save will now have the ability to cost CMC2 permanents from your graveyard. So let's begin by paying 2 mana and cost Phantasmal Image. And here comes the trick. So with Phantasmal Image on the stack, we're gonna pay 2 more mana and convert La Save into a Dockside Extortionist that is in your graveyard. Phantasmal Image will then resolve and we're gonna make it enter the battlefield as a copy of La Save that is also a copy of Dockside. However, La Save Dockside is a combination of things here. So the Phantasmal Image will enter with the Dockside ETB effect generating a bunch of treasures but also recognize that we have this achieved basically the legendary rule here. You see it's entering as a La Save that is a copy of Dockside which means that you have to sacrifice one of them. So you sacrifice the Phantasmal Image to the legendary rule. And now comes the rule demand. So with this we've spent 7 mana and if Dockside ETB generated 8 mana we can make infinite mana here. Because what we're gonna do is change La Save from Dockside back to Lurus. And yes, you are allowed to cast things again. So here we have the necessary rules. Static abilities create continuous effects, some of which are prevented effects or replacement effects. Those effects are active as long as the permanent with ability remains on the battlefield and has the ability, and has the ability, or as long as the object with ability remains in the appropriate zone. 3113.3d Static abilities are written as statements, they are simply true. Static abilities create continuous effects which are active while the permanent with ability is on the battlefield and has the ability, and has the ability. While the object with ability is on the appropriate zone, C rules the one we already read. So as long as La Save has the Lurus ability on it, he can't use it again. But if you change it to something and then change it back to Lurus, you can use Lurus ability again from the La Save. It is very similar to if you would flicker Lurus. So you have Lurus in play, you cast something from your grave and you flicker Lurus. Or you kill Lurus and you reanimate Lurus, which is usually the trick. This is the same thing. Flickering Lurus is a new object, a new Lurus, and you can use Lurus ability again. Making La Save into Lurus, changing La Save to something and then changing it back to Lurus is technically a new Lurus. Or let's just say a new Lurus with a new ability. So here we can create a loop. You spend 2 mana again to make La Save into Lurus. You spend 2 mana to cast Phantasmal Image. And you spend 2 mana to make Lurus, sorry, La Save into Dockside. Lurus, La Save, similar names. Which means that Phantasmal Image will a second time enter the battlefield as a copy of La Save with the ETB effect of Dockside. You have to sacrifice one to the legendary rule, Phantasmal Image goes to the grave and you generate a whole bunch of treasures. And once again, we've spent 7 mana to do this. If we're generating 8, we go infinite mana. And with infinite mana we can win the game with Cisei. Or any other uh, commander that is running this combo, basically. However, I shouldn't take credit for this. This combo was figured out by Yun Yamin back in 2020 from an old CSA Discord. I found a loop that still needs a bunch of cards in the right place and probably too much mana to start but I still want to share it. And thank you for sharing it. But this combo is bad. You see we're looking at a 4 card combo here and we want the cards to be in the graveyard for this to work. So why am I even talking about this? I mean, I wanna showcase good combos, combos that you should use for the format. Like the setup is amazing, 4 card requirement, 3 has to be in your grave, Docs have to make 7, 8 treasures. Yeah, that's a bunch of hoops to go through. But the thing is and why this combo is actually showcased on this channel is that all the cards you're looking at are pretty good and you're probably already playing 
well, most of them, Phantasmal Image and Dockside are pretty much auto includes, or I wouldn't say that Phantasmal Image is an auto include, but it's a good card for CDH. It's a card you can throw into every single deck, basically. So it's a combo that's gonna exist inside your deck anyways. Don't go for this as a plan A, don't do that. Go for it like a rebuild combo. And that's where I think this combo is going to shine. Because you only need Cissé to be a 3-3 free free to be able to find this after a board wipe. Let's say you've had Dockside, Phantasmal Image and Lurus in play. And you've tried to combo off and win with your Dockside and other tricks. And someone basically just board wipes. Kills everything. CC is in the command zone, you only have lands in play. And eventually you get your turn back. You have to rebuild. Everything is dead. Everything is in your graveyard. Sadness. But that's where this combo shines. Cast CC. Let's say we can make her into a 3-3. Free free. That should be possible with a Ragavan or something of the sort. Usually she's gonna be a 4-4. But all the combo pieces are in your graveyard. So you pass turn. Your new turn. You activate and you find La Save. Easily to find from a 3-3 free free CC or a 4-4 four four CC. And then, well, all the pieces are already set up. So you can win from here. And the way that I imagine that this combo is going to be used is in a later stage in the game where there's a bunch of mana rocks in play, where Dockside could actually make the huge treasure count. Also, we should mention that having a Kinnan or an Elish Norn Mother of Machines in play will help out creating the Dockside mana we need. If you have one of these permanents in play, you only need to get four treasures from Dockside. Or, well, you're gonna get eight, which we had the LH Norn with the double ATB effects, but Kinnan will double the effect of those treasures. And these are also cards you kinda play in CZ. You know, LH Norn is not really out to include, but Kinnan is always gonna be there. But there's one more issue to actually talk about. You see, these cards, they aren't bad, but they are also not great. They're good, and you can absolutely include them in Cissé, but in my personal opinion, I think they are better cards for Cissé. But we're required to play both to kind of make this combo a viability for us. But we could make them great. What these cards are actually doing, their purpose, is rebuild. Like Lurus is a value engine, so to say, and La Save is a, well, a multi-purpose card. If you need something from your graveyard that you have to have in play, for example, someone destroyed your Archon of Emiri and they cast an Underworld Breach, then you can pay free mana to make La Save into that Archon of Emiri and boom, that Underworld Breach is useless. So that is good. And Lurus reanimating Dockside is always amazing. Or just reanimating Bloom Tender. Like, Lurus is, is always kinda good in those games where you need to rebuild and have a value engine, so to say, that can cause things from the grave. But with card synergy, we could make them better. Recently, I've been playing some Queen Kyla Bin Krog, and I have to say, I kinda like her. She has a really cool, gassy ability that is allowing you to put a lot of cards into play without people getting the chance to actually interact and counterspell that. Well, they can interact with the creature, of course, stifling her ability or making it impossible to activate ability. But you're getting to put Grand Abolishers, Dock Sides, Phantasmal Image into play from your hand without people that are actually allowed to counterspell that. Also, just drawing a huge bunch of cards again from that. So Kadra and putting stuff into play for free. But also, you're fueling the graveyard. You're gonna get options that you can't put into play because you have to choose between two. And that's where La Save and Lurus could synergize with Kyla Bin Krog. The more your deck is able to just pump cards into the grave, the better Lurus and La Save will be. Because they will look at that grave as a secondary hand. And Queen Kyla Bin Krog could be a card for Cissé, absolutely. Like a, like a secondary commander. You could view it like a five-colored Kyla Queen Bin Krog in the 99. We also have Grenzo Dungeon Warden. Now, this guy isn't actually gonna put creatures into the grave, he's gonna put them directly into play, because the power in this deck isn't usually that high. But he will fuel you with a bunch of cards to the grave, and sometimes Lurus can actually cast the Soul Rings, the Mana Crypts, the Mox Ambers, and other artifacts that Grenzo just toss into the graveyard, so to say. But also Carpet of Flowers, Mystic Remora, Grenzo just fuels your graveyard here. And I have actually played him inside CC with a heavy creature count to make his ability a little bit more consistent. And I kind of like that. 
he felt like a very strong secondary commander inside the 99, literally saying 5 color Grenzo dungeon warden here. Ashok is a typical CC all-star, preventing surge, that's good, but you can also mill players and exile graveyard, however you can mill yourself to basically put a bunch of cards into your graveyard, your secondary hand, if you have your Lurus or Lassav in play, but also getting rid of all graveyards for your opponents this way. But we also have this new Planeswalker, Tyvar Jubilant Brawler. You may activate abilities of creatures you control as though those creatures had flash and plus one untap up to one target creature, minus two mill free cards, then you may return a creature card with mana value two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. You could return Lassav this way. So let's say that the board wipe happened, Lassav is in your graveyard together with everything else, CC is able to activate from being a 4-4, you can get this guy into play, reanimate Lassav, and then you get going. Or you just sit with this and just mill yourself to reanimate Dockside, that's gonna fuel your graveyard, your secondary hand, if you have Lurus or Lassav in play. Now, this one isn't actually fueling your graveyard, but it's doing a very similar thing to Lurus and Lassav here, reanimating creatures. As we're talking about fueling the graveyard, and we're kind of theorizing around deck building here, I just kind of want to throw her out here to mention that she exists. This is something you could add, depending on how you want to build this deck. Now we're going really deep. Asra Oddsmaker. Well, it's not bad, it's also not great, but it's... It's kind of decent, it's okay. It will fuel your graveyard. You're gonna discard cards to draw cards, that could be good. But when we're going down that road, we have so many different options, like Frantic Surge, draw two cards, discard two cards, and untap free lands. This could be a ritual, by the way. If you have your Gaia's Cradle in play, which you usually have, that's something you tutored for a lot, you're gonna make a lot of mana with this. Never actually seen it in CSA. I kinda just wanna throw it out there to showcase that there's a lot of ways to fuel your Lurus and Lassav. CSA could be built in so many different ways, so there's a whole bunch of cards that you could think about. But ultimately, I don't think you need to worry. People are often killing things on CSA's board state, usually. Board wipes, spot removals, etc. Creatures die. And it's always nice to have a rebuild plan, some resilience, cards that CC could tutor for, just to rebuild. You don't need to synergize with them on their own, your opponents will synergize for you. So in the end, this is a combo to just know about. It's something that could happen, it's gonna be a rarity, but it will happen. And just knowing about its potential and the rules and how that work, means that you have more ways to win from, it's new angles. Remember, someone board wipes you, you're back to zero, back to the stone age. Everything in your graveyard. Cast Cisse, find Lassav, and boom, you can win. And all you need to do is just include these cards, and hopefully, in my opinion, try to make Lassav and Lurus synergize a little bit better with the deck in general. That's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching, and take care guys. I'll see you in the next video.